Hey everybody, this is John from JohnLumer.com and John Lumer Digital on Facebook. Today, Josh Constein of TechCrunch wrote a terrific article beating back a lot of this rampant rumor going around that Facebook is intentionally decreasing the reach for all pages to force you to pay for promoted posts. I've been screaming about this for weeks or months. Uh, some people listen to me, but I don't have the audience that Josh has. So I was thrilled to see this, and he also had some great data in here to back it up from page level. Where is it? This is showing the reach over time, and this is standard deviations showing that basically, yeah, some stuff is being public, uh, punished, but overall it averages out mm -hmm. if you write good content. And he's tracing it back to spam. So I've talked about this before, that there are some people who are never going to see your content again because they've hidden you. But the, another big driving factor, uh, Facebook take cue, takes cues from the users in terms of what you want to see. And if there are a bunch of users um, reporting you as spam, that's going to impact your edge rank. So I thought to myself, well, sure it would be useful if we could find out how many people have reported us for spam. You could do that, my friends. All right. Well, so first of all, how do you how do you report someone for spam? I would never report Grandma Mary for spam, but this showed up in my feed. I could go in here. Um, actually, probably not here. Sorry. I go in here, click on this thing up here, and click report story or spam. I could also click on her page and go up here, report page. I would I'd never report you, Grandma Mary, but then I could indicate that it's spam. And I'm guessing it probably doesn't matter what I put in there. Um, so I wanted to show you that, uh, first of all, and then, uh, so let's go to my Facebook page and I'll, so I can show you exactly how it is you find out how many people have reported you. So within your insights, click to see all, export data. Now, I highly advise you pull both page level and post level, um, uh, options. Uh, you really... Try, let's, let's just do the page level um, because this is going to collect everything. This would be all the uh, people reporting you for spam on individual posts as well as people reporting you for spam uh, from your page itself. As I just showed you, both of them can happen. What I would do is go back five months-ish, as much data as they can pull in. Uh, I generally go about five months because that tends to be about their limit. Uh, so his post level, but yeah, let me go into the page level. So there, there are a couple of ways you can go about this. Um, here, here's a formula. You can just type it in right in the front, the, the top A1, uh, the sum daily negative feedback user, blah, blah, FF. So it's in the F column. As you can see, over the last five months, I've had 34 unique users reporting me for spam. Out of, you know, close to 7,000 likes, when consider that to be bad, I don't really have a point of reference. But I'm going to assume it's not bad, which is why I have not seen a big change and really any negative change in reach and engagement overall. But the next thing you can do is go ahead and search for this spam underscore search within workbook. It should be the first thing, first uh, tab that comes up. You'll know it's daily number of people who have given negative feedback to your page by type unique users. This is one you want to find out. Um, and I just go to the bottom. This is just, again, the second way you can do this and do a sum of FF, and that's how I got 34. When I did the post level, I got 24. It's about the same. Um, but again, this, this 34 keeps in the account. Also, people actually went to your page to report you as spam. Try not to take it too personally, but again, if this number is really high, it's a high percentage, that is absolutely something you should be looking out for. If you've seen your reach is dropping dramatically and you find that you have a lot of people reporting you for spam, that is probably why. All right, so for more, I'll always be following this important information that comes out about Facebook, teaching you uh, the new and true ways to stay on top of it. So make sure you like my page on Facebook at John Lumber Digital or read my blog on johnlumber.com. Thanks.